So the episode opened with Brian Lee Summer and big head ass Luca. He's still feeding her bullshit and she's still sitting there eating it, digesting it, getting full off of it. What can I say? Once you dumb, you never go back. And Summer way overdue for that. So why should I be surprised that she's still believing Luca bullshit at the moment? Ooh, Billy, shall I be concerned about you kissing my old girl and now you sitting there daydreaming about her in the middle of the coffee house, thinking about that kiss? Did you want to go father Billy, or is you having an illusion? Which one is it? Because I'm not liking it neither nor way. So please explain to me which one it is. Oh, look, Victor then made a friend in their own first name basis. Well, isn't that wonderful? Well, at least you know you have a friend to talk to and tell them how you plan on ruling Newman Enterprise and your family lives forever, but that plan happened and failed. Oh, look, Victor, well, y'all should get along very, very well. Very, very well. So we get to the sharing the nut. And she wondering, then she opened her damn mouth too fucking wide and made Nick and Sage lose the damn girl that was going to adopt their baby to her. And now, see, see that's why I can't subscribe to Sharon. That's why I don't fuck with her. That's why I don't, I ain't talking about that heifer. You know what you did, lady. You should have kept your fucking mouth shut. Matter of fact, you should have talked to that damn girl. Better that yet, that. But and since you won't open your damn mouth, now you want to talk about some oops. And now, you don't remember what the fuck you did. Shit, what kind of motherfucking medication you on, dear? You know what the fuck you did. You know exactly what the fuck you did. Oh, now we playing dumb and naive. Now I'm thinking you going to get off. Oh, I got a medical condition. Oh, I'm crazy. Oh, no, bitch. Even crazy people get convicted. And we gonna convict your ass. Now, you should have opened your goddamn mouth. And we didn't told you to keep your mouth shut, Sharon. But you can't do that. Always opening your mouth at the wrong goddamn time. I, don't, I just sit back and laugh at your silly ass. Well, they're not friends anymore. Victor then threatened the man. He didn't threaten... The man threatened Victor. Victor said, you watch your ass. No, I want me to beat that ass, do you? Yeah, homie, you better watch out. That's one thing Victor don't play. You swing on him, you want to. You going to drop back a nub. That, that old man got some moves behind his ass. Okay, now he beat your ass. And they talk about they pick at your ass in jail, in prison. Talk about you got beat by an elderly man. You better sit your ass down, Billy Bob, whatever the hell your name is. So Mariah trying to talk Sharon in the sand. She uh, trying to talk on the sand. She ain't do the wrong thing. Yes, the hell she did the wrong thing. She did the absolutely worst thing. Mariah in a good mood worrying about them dollars she finna get from past key. She ain't telling you the fucking truth. You should have kept your fucking mouth closed. You should have stayed the fuck out of it. But no, like usual for you, Sharon. You always gotta open your goddamn mouth at the wrong fucking time. I learned to live with your mouth by now, so I'm not surprised that now you having second thoughts on you to open your big ass gator. Dylan, I love you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Tell that bitch like it is. Stay out of Nick damn business. Get you alive. Worry about Dylan and your baby that ain't yours. That what you do. Thank you, Dylan. At least somebody telling it like it is. I can congratulate Dylan for somebody fucking telling this bitch to mind her damn business. God, she have a hard time doing that for some damn reason. Now, Sage, didn't I tell you to go find your self-control just yesterday? And now you telling Nick, what are you doing? She don't need to see the baby. She gonna want to keep it. Say, that is that woman's possession, not your woman. That's not yours. That woman can see her baby if she want to. Say, what the hell is wrong with you? Do you need to go back to the nut house or something? Because it's clear that you had lost all your train of thought and your brain not functioning correctly. Because who in their right mind don't want to see... <laughs> Even if she do get attached to that baby, and so what? It's her baby. That woman said no matter what, she too young to be a parent. Of course she gonna give it to you no matter what. Says, why are you being such a... 
Now, I ain't going to say that because your ass already crazy. But I said you got one more damn time. One more damn time. <laughs> Kevin and Luke up there fighting for control. Luca button his big head ass, big head ass and shit again, per usual for him. Kevin trying to tell the woman Luca button in. So I guess they fit a fight over their control over who gonna get the say first say, huh? And the last say too, as as, as we seeing now. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Well, that was quick. Luca go running his ass over there. The, the Jack, Jack told him, you fire the hell out my face. Uh-huh. You wish you would have sat down somewhere now, don't you, Luca? Oh, no. I didn't delve. At father, I'm a dev in the sharing of the head. Now we talking about crazy talks in hospitals. No, thank you. I pass. Well, that's something. Victor then got in his first prison fight already. That man didn't heed Victor warning. So Victor had to put them old, old man skills on his ass. And I bet you he regretting that now. So, Summer wants to know why she's still defending Luca. Some, um, Mariah asked her, yeah, why are you still defending him? Hmm. Is the question? Cause she's stupid and she don't have a brain. That's why she's still defending Luca. Well, hell, why the hell is she still defending Victor Newman? That's even a better question. Let's see if she gonna answer that question, or she still gonna act like she don't remember why, or why she wasting her time being the town idiot at the moment. Oh, so that's what it is. She catching feelings for Luca. She said, "Forget um." What his name is, Jack's son, forget him, look like she falling in love with Luca. So not only is you an idiot, you falling for a man that's older than you. Phyllis, please get your daughter. Please, please hurry up and get your daughter and take her somewhere. But well, we ain't got to look at her no more. So Victoria decides to show her ass at this press conference, slapping Billy, calling him a liar, and talking about she a Newman, you want war, we got it. Okay, Victor Newman, little minion, sit your ass down now, ain't nobody scared of you, Victoria. Well, that was the episode, and I'll see y'all soon for something.